So everyone's wondering and everyone's been talking about the real estate market and the upcoming real estate market crash. So could the real estate market crash? What happens if there is a real estate market crash? What will happen to real estate prices and home prices and rents across the country? My name is Antoine Martel. I'm a real estate investor in the US. I own over 500 rental properties across the country. And I've been thinking about this real estate market crash and correction for the last 10 years since 2008. We're constantly thinking about how a real estate market crash or correction could affect our business. So every single day we're running through many different scenarios. If this happens or this happens with interest rates or rents or property, values how could that affect our business because we have employees in this business we need to protect them first so we have to always be looking at external factors that could affect our real estate business and in this video I'm gonna share with you all of those thoughts that we've been thinking about the last 10 years and especially more recently with the interest rates going up how that could affect the real estate market and how you can prepare yourself if there is a real estate market crash or correction in the next 12 months. And I have a lot of real estate investors asking me on a daily basis. And their main question really is, should I be investing in the real estate market today? Or should I wait for a real estate market correction and buy it at a discount? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my thoughts on the current real estate market. I'm gonna share with you guys what I would do right now to capitalize on the real estate market that we are currently in, because I have an amazing strategy for you guys to implement today so that you can start capitalizing on the real estate market without any risk about what may happen to the real estate market over the next 12 to 24 months. But before we get into the video, like and subscribe to my channel so that every single week you can stay updated with the real estate market and trends and learn about the upcoming real estate crash or correction. Okay, so what if the real estate market crashes? A lot of people are worried due to the high interest rates, the high rents, the extremely high home prices across the country that we are going to see some sort of crash or correction because how could this continue for the next 12 to 24 months? And I completely agree with you. How could we have such high property value growth, such high rent growth? I mean, that means that property are gonna be worth a million bucks in every single major metro city across the country in the next 12 months if we keep going on this path. And that's just not possible. And no matter what anybody tells you, nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody can predict what is actually gonna happen, what the government's gonna do, what the interest rates are gonna look like. Nobody can predict the inflation and interest rate over the next 12 months and also predict what rents and property values will be. So personally, what my team and I have been doing for the last 12 months is running a bunch of different scenarios on what could happen. Since we don't know what will happen, we at least know what could happen, right? So interest rates could go up, rents could go through the roof, property values could go up, could go down. So what we have to do is take all these different scenarios and run them through our business model and run them through the economy. So I think that's probably your best bet if you wanna predict the real estate market. You have to take a bunch of different factors that affect the real estate market and start playing with them. And that'll put you in the best scenario so that when something does happen, you're prepared. First and foremost, I believe that in order to insulate yourself against the current real estate market, you have to buy deals that work today. And what I mean by that is going out there and buying rental properties, apartment buildings, mobile home parks, and get the financing that works with today's interest rates. So if you can go out there and find rental properties in cities like Memphis, Cleveland, Detroit, or anywhere in the Midwest, you can lock in good long-term debt. Even if the interest rate is higher, like seven or 8%, you lock in long-term financing for the next 30 years that doesn't have an arm on it or anything like that, lock in the interest rate, collect cash flow for the next five, 10, 20, 30 years. When the interest rates go down, you can refinance. If the interest rates go up, then just continue to buy with the current active interest rate of today. So for me personally, I really don't care if the interest rates are 10, 12, 15, even 20%. If I can still make a 10 to 20% return on my money, why do I care what the interest rates are? If I can still go out there and find great rental properties and those deals still work with a 10% interest rate, I'm still gonna go ahead and buy those rental properties, hold them for the long run, interest rates go up, doesn't affect me, interest rates go down, refinance. And you may be thinking that it's impossible to find deals that make sense at a 7% interest rate, but you would be wrong. We're still out there buying 10, 20 houses every single month across the country using seven to 8% interest rates. And I wouldn't continue to wait until we have another 2008 because I don't think that that is coming. Sure, will there be a slowdown in property values and a slowdown in growth? Yes, but there won't be any kind of huge correction where we see a 20, 30, 40% discount on real estate prices. And since I don't think that we'll see another 2008, what do I think will happen? So what I think will actually happen is that we'll start to see the interest rates begin to go up even higher. I think right now we're at six to 7%. I think those interest rates are gonna continue to go up over the next couple of months. And as those interest rates go up, 
people will stop buying houses to live in and they'll go to rent houses instead. Now that you have all these people going to rent houses instead of buying houses, that's gonna create more housing inventory, but most people are gonna be renting and that is gonna push upward pressure on rents, which means rents are gonna go a ton higher. And we've already started to see that. Now I can only imagine by the end of the year what rents will look like. Even in places in the Midwest where you can normally rent out a house you know, a three bedroom, one bath, single family house for a thousand bucks, I think those rents are gonna be $1,200, $1,300, $1,400 a month. Because it's gonna make more financial sense to spend that money on rent than to go buy that same house and have a seven, 8% interest rate, they're gonna to prefer to go and rent a property and wait to buy a house with a lower interest rate. So what does that mean for you and how can you take advantage? I think that what we're gonna see is a large amount of inventory that you can go and buy, get in long-term debt, and there's gonna be a huge pool of renters. There's gonna be so much demand for people looking to rent good livable properties in good locations. So if you can go out there, buy houses, while we see the inventory come up, you rent them to people that are willing to pay a hell of a lot more than they were a year ago, that's gonna be a perfect situation for you. Even some big companies like BlackRock and Blackstone that have hundreds of thousands of houses, if there is any kind of huge market crash or correction, we're all gonna be in this together. And I say that to say that the market changes as a whole, right? So we're all looking at the same math, the same numbers, the same inventory stock, we're all buying the same houses, right? So as a real estate investor, all of us are looking for anything from an eight to 20% return on our money. So with that in mind, all of us are looking at the same deals and looking for the same ROIs and same returns on our money when we go and buy the deals. So no matter what's happening with the economy or interest rates or inflation, the deals that we see on the market are going to reflect that return. So I hope you're not scared or fearful of a real estate market crash or correction. Because even if we do see one, there's still gonna be opportunities to be had. And I think it's gonna be the perfect time to buy rental properties. Because rents are gonna go up, property values are gonna stabilize, and there's gonna be a lot more inventory to get into. So if you've been trying to invest in real estate for the last 12 or 24 months, but haven't been able to find a deal, I think that you'll be able to find a deal much, much easier in the next 12 to 24 months. So keep your eyes open, keep analyzing deals, Deals, go download my spreadsheet on my website so you can go out there and analyze deals all day long and start making offers on properties. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about the current real estate market or the economy as a whole, leave them down in the comments. If not, I'll see you on the next one.